Hey, this is Flex Wheeler. Um, Sunday the 18th, about uh, about 12, 19 in the morning. Um, I just want to say first and foremost, I just, I'm so appreciative of all the messages I've been getting through all my um, internet mediums, my Twitter, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and all that. I, it's just really overwhelming. I can I can honestly say I, I I never really imagined that I um had that much effect over people and you know help people in their lives and uh yeah it's a beautiful thing um to have reciprocated you know back to me um you know uh today um I'm in a little bit better um situation than I have been um in the last couple of weeks um my pain level um it's just been through the roof, and today was the first time that I actually had a pain level of around five. Um, and man, I can live with that, you know, especially dealing with tens um, for the last couple of months. Um, most of you guys don't know, um, but I, I was in a hospital in uh, the beginning of March. I was rushed to the hospital um, when they found out that I had DVT, and I was in the hospital for about three months and then back to the ER um, multiple times because of problems. And even then they told me, um, you know, they have exhausted all their resources. And, you know, the next thing would be is just taking my leg off um, when that time came. Um, so I kind of been aware uh, that this is a possibility uh, that, you know, they're gonna amputate my leg and I, um, I've been trying to get uh, used to that and, and prepared for that as much as I could mentally. Um, and actually, when I went to the um, event um, that um, Arnold Schwarzenegger invited me to, you know, with Frank Oak, um, it kind of dawned on me then that I, I need to take better care of myself and, you know, go ahead and move forward and make a date. But um, that date came a lot sooner than I thought. I just flew one back from Billings, Montana, where me and my business partner uh, met with a, um, a manufacturing plant down there to start doing my own personal line. Um, and flying back, uh, I was just in such uh, pain, I can't even explain it, man. I mean, at that time, I knew I wasn't gonna make it to Dubai. It's no way in hell that I'm gonna be able to um, pull that off and um, I was actually really worried that I'd even make it on the airplane um, but flew back for my layover and uh, got to um, got to uh, Vegas and you know told my wife you know I gotta get to the ER and she uh, drove home and you know she drove me to the ER and you know they did an ultrasound immediately and came back and told me um, one of my arteries were 70% blocked and the other one was 100% blocked and he just looked at me and said, you know, Flex, this is your call. Um, but we're here now, you know, we're here at that stage. Um, and I, I understood what, you know, the, the doctor was saying and, you know, I really thought about it really hard. I couldn't walk. Um, I limped severely. I was in constant pain, whatever you, footstep I took and even in bed, just laying in bed, you know, I'd go to sleep in pain and wake up in pain. Um, so it was kind of no decision, you know, for me. I said, yeah, let's move forward and go ahead with the amputation. Um, so at that time I was, you know, admitted into the hospital and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the rest of it, but, um, you know, a lot of people have been calling me and um, telling me about certain people's, you know, doing interviews about me and my life. And, uh, you know, I just want to make it crystal clear. If it doesn't come from me, if the, com uh, the comment doesn't come from me, then, you know, don't believe it. Um, you know, sometimes people think that, you know, just because they'll have a conversation with you on the phone or, or a light conversation that now they're, um, you know, the... Uh, the go-to person for, you know, what I'm going through. So, um, last but not least, I, um, I really want to thank, uh, Dennis James. Um, he came to me about a week ago and he asked me if he can do a GoFundMe page. And I was like, what is that? You know, and he 
he told me, and I was like, no, bro, I can't do that, you know, I'm good. He's like, you know, flex, you know, stop being a dick, you know, let people take care of you, man. You got a lot of people out there that loves you. So, um, so I said, okay. And he said, great, because I was going to do it whether you said okay or not. And um, I just want to thank everyone um, who's um, contributed to that. It doesn't matter from a penny to whatever. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And I will continue um, putting up the biggest fight that I can and coming back and being um, as as good as I can be. Um, I just want to let you know, um, you guys all know that, you know, I love you. I appreciate your comment, whether it's, you know, negative to mine or not. It's cool. You know, sometimes people don't agree on things, you know, it's, that's no big deal. But again, you know, thank you so much for everything that you guys have done in each and every comment, man. It's just mind boggling. Never had any idea um, <clears throat> that I affected people that much. So I'll continue um, trying to do so um, and trying to be in better um, at doing so. Thank you and um, good night.